Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of this Pokemon Full Play. Uh, this is the Greek Gorilla again, if you haven't figured out by now. And it's the same every time. I always, it's always the same intro. I can never do anything different. Alright, so I'm going to continue where I left off, which was in Celadon City. And we had just, we, we've beaten Erica, and we've beaten, um, we've gone through Team Rocket's Hider, and we, you know, got the Silph Scope from Giovanni. So now, before I head to Lavender Town, and I can't hear because my game audio is too high, um, before we go to Lavender Town, we're going to head over here, and if you come over here, we can get Fly, the, the TM, or oh, the HM, Jesus, HM. So we go over here, we can get Fly. Now, I'm doing this now, so I don't forget that it's here. I just remember, I literally remembered about a minute before I start recording. I'm like, wait, I can get fly before I, you know, start. So we go to this woman. I think she gives me fly. Now. I don't have, uh, see, and this is the problem again, I don't have any room for it. Alright, so we're going to make some room in my bag. Um, and I apologize if I'm coughing and sneezing and all that stuff a, a lot this video. Um, the reason is I am sick. I've got a cold. So, I can't teach anybody. I can teach Pidgeotto that. Actually, I'm going to go sell the nugget. So yeah, I've got a cold. So if I don't, if my voice doesn't sound as, as beautiful as it usually sounds, I apologize. But I can't help it. The illness has fallen upon me and I shall be better in a couple of days time. So, hopefully I'm good enough to record my Medal of Honor. Um, series because that would be a bummer if I'm not. I love Medal of Honor and I love Pokemon. So I'm just gonna go in here and sell some stuff. And what can I say? Well, the 12th of July was my birthday. Had a birthday to me. And I got some good presents, which thank you for my presents, my family. I got an Elgato, so. Having that Elgato for my birthday now, I can record um, Xbox footage, PlayStation footage, really whatever footage I want. So expect once either Medal of Honor or this Pokemon full play are done, expect some recordings of maybe some Xbox One games or some 360 games. So I've got to figure out what games to do, guys. Just um, if you want any specific games done, just let me know in the comments. If I have them, I'll do them. If not, I might I might actually just go out and buy them just to do a full play of them. So, there's that. And I've got Fly now, which I'll teach the Pidgeotto later. I'm not going to teach it now, because in today's, in this episode, I really want to um, get to Lavender Town again and clear the Pokemon Tower. So beat, beat Gary and beat Team Rocket. And then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, I'm feel I'm feeling really drained, partially because I have this cold. But that's not gonna stop me. Ain't gonna stop me from recording anything. Uh, so there. What can I say? So I'm gonna save it. Give you a exact summary of what's going on. And I haven't trained any Pokemon at all because this is. Um, continuing, continuing where I left off. So no training has been done. But... Okay, so now I have to go to the Pokemon Tower, beat Team Rocket, save Mr. Fuji, just to get a Poker Flute so I can go to Future City. Because you need a Poker Flute to wake up the fatty. Or Snorlax. As most people call him Snorlax. I love Snorlax. I call him Fatty, it's just a joke. Snorlax is... Snorlax is good. So... Yeah, so that's the only real reason you need to save this guy. Otherwise, I just leave him there. Stuff you, you can stay there with Team Rocket. But... I'm pretty sure my Pokemon are healed. And... The levels that they are... I'm, I might actually get all three today. I might get a Blastoise, a Venusaur, and a Charizard today. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. And... 
I did, I did some a little bit of reading up on. I didn't read much into it, but uh, Jesse James and Meowth, you know, Team Rocket, those guys, they should be. I think they're at the top of the tower here. So we're just gonna battle Gary. And again, I've apologised a lot, but if I if I do sound bad, it's yeah. It's not that I'm not in the mood. I, I want to record and stuff, but I'm sick as a dog. Crook. Because I, I had, we went, I, I went out to the movies and I, I watched the new Transformers film, the Age of Extinction, which is I know people are, are, are bagging, like you know, getting stuck into Michael Bay or oh, you ruined my childhood, you ruined Transformers. But in all honesty, they're doing it for money, which is obvious. And they've changed the story because, if you think about it, they have to pay the rights to Hasbro, they have to pay the rights to the production company that made the original storyline of Transformers. So, they're going off on their own tangent, and... Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> pardon me. And what they've done with it, I know they've changed um, the characters' names, and who dies and who lives, which kind of sucks because, let's face it, you know, Transformers is awesome, and I might take missed. Uh, I can see where he's gone, and in all honesty, the movie is not that bad. It's pretty good. I mean, there's some parts, and there's some parts in all of the movies that he's made that I don't agree with, but that's purely because I know the old cartoons, the old Transformers. But it's a good movie. You, you should go see it, even if you didn't like the other three. It's pretty good. I've man, spoiler alert. Optimus man in this one he is angry like he's like he's the Autobot version of Megatron in this he is okay I've spoiled too much but he is really it's so cool it's scary to see him like this so go and watch it go watch the movie good movie and so I went and saw that and that way that went for about close to three hours about two hours and 45 minutes or something like that and afterwards, you know, I felt fine. But then I got home, and then like my knees, I could just, I could not sit down. Like I had to, I had to stand up. They hurt so much. Like when I went to sit down, and I thought it was because of the seating. Which, yeah, Rosebud Cinemas, the, the seating is pretty well. Could be better. And so everybody thought it was because of the seating that you know my knees were sore. Turns out, two days later. I've got a cold, and usually when you have a cold, you know, your joints and everything start aching and your muscles, so maybe it wasn't the seating, could have just been the cold. Anyway, enough about me and my, my body and what it's doing and all that stuff, it's not that interesting. I just beat Gary, and I, on all honesty, all I saw was his Eevee and his Fira. I don't know what other Pokemon he had, so awkward. I guess I'll have to look at it. Look at it in the recording. Let's see what see what he used. Pikachu had to get out of the way. Alright. So that didn't seem like a problem. That actually seemed quite simple. Now we will We'll continue using Water Portal for the time being. We'll keep going. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A silk scope might be able to arm ask them. One step ahead of you, bitch. I did save it, didn't I? Did I save it? I'm paranoid. I'm saving it again, just in case I didn't. Okay. Now, as a kid, playing through this, um, this level, I know I could have gone around the long way, but I want to battle the trainers. As a kid playing this, I was actually quite frightened of these people. Look, the tower itself, the music was a bit, you know, scary. But not that much. But the trainers, these channelers, you look at them, they look, they look possessed. Like, they looked really scary. And they still do, quite honestly. And these ghastly just won't die. Oh, wait, I, I totally could have used Dig, couldn't I? Crap. Because this is not, this is not, you know, current gen. So Gasly doesn't have Levitate, which could have, damn it, oh well, I know for next time I could use Dig. 
I'll oh, piss off. And this is the thing. See now, if I switch back to War Turtle, what, what's the bet? I'll bet you he's gonna use Confuse Ray again. What's the? Oh well. Or I'll be paralyzed. Nope. Okay. So we use Dig. And like I mentioned, in, in Generation 1, there was no such thing as Levitate, so... Dig was good against nearly everything. And War Turtle grew to level... Uh, what's that? 31. Trying to learn withdraw. Can't learn with four moves. No thanks, yeah. No thanks. Ha ha ha. Okay. So now I'm gonna grab this item. Which is going to be as useless as shit. Useless as, useless as tits on a bull, as my dad says. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's cool. See, now, normally I'd catch him, but you can't... I can't trade him to anybody to evolve him. So, like... I kind of... I want him. I'd love a Gengar on my team, but... You can't evolve him unless I put cheats on. <coughs> Pardon me, and I don't want to put cheats on. So sorry, Haunter. Ghastly, ghastly. I remember the, the old anime, and I will be killing me. The old anime uh, with with Ash, Misty, and Brock, and they go to the haunted. They go to the um the haunted tower, and. There's literally, there's a whole tower, and only three Pokemon live in the tower, and that's a Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. And I used to love it as a kid, because like, Gengar... I might post it in the... I might post a link to it, but um, in the anime, Gengar and Haunter, they're like, they're just... Like, okay, let's start again. Ghastly's out, you know, trolling um, Ash, and Ash, Pikachu, Charmander, and all. He's trolling, like, he's trying to scare them. And Haunter... Haunter and Gengar, they're sitting in a room watching like a, a comedy, like a slapstick thing. Like these people slapping each other. And Haunter and Gengar just, you know, laughing so much. And I'm bloody rock wild Pokemon. And Ghastly, Ghastly's like, you know, scaring Ash. And then Ghastly comes in the room while they're watching the comedy. And then they all just start laughing and flying around. It's, it's, it's cool. Look, look guys, don't judge me. Do not judge me. It was, it was one of the funniest episodes. And then after that... After that episode, a Haunter went with Ash because Ash needed something to beat Sabrina. And they're like, oh, the ghost types are the only Pokemon that can hurt um, psychic types. And like in the games, in the games, like psychic types, you know, are super effective against ghost types. I'm thinking, why? How the? Why would the hell would you go and get a Haunter to beat um, the psychic gym when it's weak against psychic? But then I realized it's not, like, Psychic isn't super effective against a ghost. It's super effective against the poison, like, poison type. Which Haunter, Haunter's evolutionary line is made up of, uh, you know, ghost poison. So, that's why he was weak to Psychic types. And I never knew that, and I thought Ghost was weak to Psychic. So I'm like, haha, I've got a Psychic type, it'll beat your Ghost type. Oh wait, your ghost type doesn't have a poison type typing with it, you know. Oh look guys, I'm rambling on again. But look, I'll be honest with you, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't ramble on about random crap. So, you love me or hate me, you'll um, you have to put up with me. Or you, alternatively, you don't have to. You can just um, stop watching if you want to. But then, why would you want to? Look, I mean, look at me. I'm the best trainer in the world. Nope. That was a joke. Channeler. Ghastly. I know there were only three ghost types in Generation 1, but come on. At least use, like, a, you know, a Grimer or something. Instead of just ghost types. And the title... The title... Channeler, like what? What is that about? What's a, what's a channeler? They channel the spirits, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. If anybody knows, I mean, I suppose I can Google it. But if anybody knows what you know, the definition of what a channeler is, you know, leave it in the comments 
so then I can be lazy and I don't have to look it up. But alternatively, you can do what you want. Switch. Uh, Alexa, that would be handy. I probably shouldn't use Ivysaur. Too late for that now. Cut, leech seed, raise leaf, mega drain. No. I'll run away. I won't use Ivysaur, because Ivysaur can't do the job properly. Ha ha ha. Beat me. Something. Some of, these, some of these channels are just freaky as well. It's like, oh, help me, I'm possessed. Well, just get, just, you know, leave. You're obviously beyond redemption. You, you can't be helped, you know. You're, you're, yeah. You're a lost cause. So that will do 20, 22 damage per shot. And I'm gonna kill it before it uses it again. Well, shit. I believe in my Charmeleon. I believe he can do nothing. You useless piece of crap. Well, this this is gone. This has turned to shit straight away, very quickly. I have not. I use Pikachu. I haven't used Pikachu this whole video, and I'm blah 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 blah. Oh man, it's one of those videos. So that's you taken care of. Thank God for that. Super Potion. Yeah, Charmeleon needs it. Oh, pardon me. Burping everywhere. Um, Alright, so now... Quickly save it. Hopefully this, hopefully this video is a quick one. So my aim here is just to beat this tower. Which... Might not take that long. <laughs> Pardon me. And then I just jinxed myself. Okay, what do you have? A ghastly? Fair enough. So, Chameleon sh should be okay. Should be okay. Man, I'll tell you, I'll get, having a cold, being sick sucks. I have people at school used to think, oh, if I get sick, I can stay home and it'll be the best. But getting sick is horrible. I piss off, you bloody confusion. I mean, I just can't wait till I'm better. Ah! Piss off. And I think there's a 50-50 chance that you, you know, you'll hurt yourself, but, you know, a 50-50 chance that you won't hurt yourself. And... It just seems in Pokemon, in Pokemon games, it's always the 50% that you will hurt yourself. I bet you I'll hurt myself again. Oh! I say as if he doesn't hurt himself. Nice. Good job. Good job, Charmeleon. Where is the ghost? I don't know. you telling the story. Awakening. Ah! Uh, F off. And look, I know you guys are saying, why doesn't he just use Repel? He's got a Repel in his backpack. And you'd be right, you'd be right. I'm gonna use Repel. Because... I didn't buy them for no reason. I bought them to be used, so I'll use them. No more room for items. You know what? How about you go... And shove it up your ass. Shove it up your fat ass. HP up. Alright. HP up. And now, look. Back in the back in these days, I always chose the Pokemon with the lowest HP, which in this case is Pikachu. To use it on. Whereas nowadays I just use it on Pokemon that I need to EV and IV train. Which I never I never cared much for the independent values and the effort values of Pokemon because I'm like, you know, you just train them to level 100 and they'll be the best, but now 
My eyes have been opened. And that's what I do. I do nothing but IV and EV train. And I mean, effort value is not EV like the Pokemon. Anyway. That's what I do now. You know, I go for their natures. Like, on the moment, you're on the 3DS. I'm Pokemon X and Y. I'm Pokemon X. Yeah, I've got a yeah, modest Blastoise. I've got a modest Charizard and a Adamant Charizard. That's for the Megastone. Megastone, the X. And then I've got a modest natured Venusaur as well. So, like, I'm doing... Ah, oh, piss off. Yeah, prick. So, there's that. And, and actually, I caught... Because you, you can catch... I'll piss off. Because you can catch Mewtwo in Pokemon X and Y. And I caught, I caught the Mewtwo. And he has a pretty good nature. It's not modest. But I caught Mewtwo and has a mild nature. Which is really good for his special attack. And I'm happy with it. Purely because it's one of those Pokemon where unless you save it before you battle it. Turn it off, you know, catch it, see what nature it is. If it's not the nature you want, you can turn it off and try and catch it again and it might be a different one. It's one of those, it's a legendary. So I'm happy with a mild nature of Mewtwo. I just increased its stat that was low, which I think it was defense. And I'm crapping on again about stuff. Okay, so there's this. Super Potion. And I'm gonna try and get Charmeleon, Wartortle, and Ivysaur. I know I've mentioned it before, but them to evolve on camera, on recording. And after that, oh, I, what am I doing that? I can just heal here. Oh, duh, I can just heal, and I'm wasting super potions. Don't mind me. So I'm gonna, yeah. And then the others like Nido King, Nido Queen, and Pidgeot. Oh, Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Pidgeotto. Jesus Christ. Say the name. Use your words. Those three, I'll train them off camera, so like they'll be. I uh, and Pikachu, I'll train them off thing to get them stronger. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, so yeah. Thank God for that. I will piss off. That's not. That's not a, the okay signal for you to you know confuse me. Oh, come on, Chameleon. Thank Christ. Thank the good lord! Die! Faint! Faint! Yes! Yes, yes! You, you, you! Thank Christ! Gasp! That's how- Seriously, that's how I feel. Enter Purify Zone! Ashes Pokemon are fully healed! And come to think of it, I should have named my guy Greek Gorilla. But it wouldn't have fitted into the slot. So I have to make do with Ash. Zombies. Zombies. I'm trying to think, are there any Pokemon based on zombies? I know there's ghost type Pokemon. Are there any zombie based, like Pokemon that are based on zombies? I don't think so. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If, if I am wrong, let me know. But, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know. Because I've been... I'm not sure, you know, I'm into Pokemon and all that. I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh as well, and I've recently, you know, I've got all first the first five seasons. And I've been watching and they have like zombie type monsters and stuff. And I was wondering with Pokemon, I don't think they ever have a zombie, a zombie base, like the appearance looks like a zombie, like a Pokemon. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, piss off! You gay ass prick. Go suck a fat one. Just, just, I don't want to see... If you paralyze me again... Yeah, that's what I thought. Get lost. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's any zombie based Pokemon. I think there's that sarcophagus. In the Unova region, that's sarcophagus Pokemon, but that's that's not a zombie. That's not a zombie. That's a mummy. Which I guess a mummy could be a zombie, I suppose. Ah, crap. Oh, 
use another one. Ogre. The things that they say. Well, that's not even speech, that's just... <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so his, her first move will be to confuse me. I called it. What did I say? Alright, well then I'll switch. If you're gonna be like that, I will switch and I'll use dig and I'll dig up your ass and I don't know what I'm saying and I'm just... Don't you paralyze me. I'll piss off! All the, all the, all the status elements they get. They want to confuse you, they'll confuse you, and you'll get, you will get hurt by it. They want to paralyze you, they'll paralyze you instantly. With a, an attack that has like a 20% chance of doing it. I see, you see, exactly, do you see what I effin' mean? I was about to say that F word. The fire truck. Oh, you wait till I use dig, you bitch. You're in for it. You're in for it now. And actually, in retrospect, I actually think teaching Dig to Wotodo was a good idea. Spectacular. Spectacular. Alright, so now, quickly, back in here. Back in here. And continue on. And I've battled this bitch. Did I? Yes, I was. Okay. Now, hopefully this video isn't long. It's probably already gone for like half an hour, eh? I'm battling... All of you give me blood. Shut up, you're not a vampire. Ghastly. And there's also this episode with Ghastly in uh, Generation 1, well, in the anime. Where Gasly was, was it Gasly? Yeah, it was Gasly, and he was. It was this. There was like a festival that they went to, Ash, Misty, and Brock, and this Gasly was. It was called the the Ghost of Maiden's Peak. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Actually, I pretty have a good pretty have a good. I have a good memory. And the ghost possessed the statue, and like he took the form. The like, Gasly took the form of the woman. That was there waiting for he, her husband to return or whatever, her boyfriend, I can't remember, from the seas. And like, like it, I don't know, it possessed James and Brock and it made him fall in love with her, like the illusion. And it was funny because it, it led to a, they found that it was Gasly eventually. And it led to a whole battle. And like Gasly, it was an illusion and he turned, like he got Venusaur and Blastoise because Ash sent out Bulbasaur and Squirtle. And he got Venus, he made like an illusion of Venusaur and Blastoise, and he combined them. <laughs> he made a Pokemon, and I think it was Venusaur or something like that. And <laughs> Squirtle and Bulbasaur just crap themselves, like just shit themselves. Uh, gonna get rid of Rage because Rage is proven to be bad. Yeah, <laughs> and he had Venusaur, which was funny. Very funny. Oh crap, I forgot you were confused. No, it's alright. Surprisingly, I'm actually hitting him. But yeah. Pokemon anime. I mean, the TV shows back then, in general, they don't make them anymore. They don't make good shows. Like the shows that I grew up with. Pokemon, Digimon, I think the, the old Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh, not this Zexal crap. The original and like the TV shows like Transformers. Um, I'm looking at my DVD collection to try and get ideas. Yeah, um, even the Nickelodeon shows like Rugrats. Yeah, Are Real Monsters, Hey Arnold, Angry Beavers, Cat Dog. I can keep going on and on and on. They had good shows back then, and I'll use this. And they have none now. Well, they have shows. There's some some decent shows. Ah, oh, piss. So I'm, I got rid of my potion for that piece of shit. You know what? Chuck that crap away. And then I'll need it later. But... Yeah, like, like I said, some shows today are pretty good. I cannot... I cannot. I cannot, kiki kiki, give you an example 
because I don't watch much TV. Like sometimes I watch shows with my brother. But they're not many there's not many shows. You get the golden the, you know, the few that are golden that are good, but the rest are just crap. Then again, I'm not much of a TV person. I mean, the only shows that I watch on TV, I watch the AFL Footy Show, which is for those of you overseas who don't know not what do not know what AFL is, go look it up. It's it stands for Australian Fo Australian Football League, which is you know Australian football, and it's pretty it's pretty full on sport. Like, it's really, it's really physical, it's really, you know, you need endurance, you need to be tough, you need to be accurate with kicking and stuff, it's, it's all about team, you know, coordination and stuff. Well, other sports are good, this, this one, I love Aussie Rules, go and check it out, just like, watch a game, so you get an idea of what it is. I mean, it's not the best sport in the world, because obviously it's not a world sport, because not many people know about it. Obviously, football, or soccer, football, people call it football, people call it soccer, it's just, it's all football, isn't it? You're kicking the ball with your foot, so it's football, but we, we call it soccer because we don't get mixed up with our rugby, with our AFL, with, with American football, so we just call it soccer, that's why we, so we don't get it mixed up, and there's a crow outside with a, what the hell is he carrying? Anyway, I'm getting distracted from the point, so go and check out AFL pretty good. good. So I watch the AFL footy show and I mostly watch it because my mum watches it but we watch The Voice Australia and man these people they're talented they're good singers especially the, the kids voice like half the kids are better than the adults at singing right it's they're, they're good good shows I don't watch, yeah, much TV. I watch, we watch Seinfeld, that's hilarious. I love Seinfeld. You don't, it doesn't get any better than Seinfeld, really. Rare candy. Um, num num. Actually, what's Ivysaur doing? No. How close are you to leveling up? Okay, you're not close at all, so I'm gonna use this on you. Uh, what other TV shows do I watch? Not many. I guess there's not many. There's not many TV shows that tickle my fancy. If you know what I mean. I'm gonna save it here. And actually, I remember what happens here. That's why I saved it. So, Ivysaur is coming into the action. Coming into the fray now. Be gone, intruders! Ooh. And this is cool. Because this, this used to scare the crap out of me, I'm like, I can't attack it, why can't I attack it? Then I realised you needed the silk scope. And... I'm crapping on a lot now, but if you have... They've released Pokemon Origins, which I think it's, it's a DVD now. Like, it was on YouTube originally, but it's on DVD now. Go out and have a look at it on YouTube, or buy it, or just watch it. And that was easier than I last time. But, watch it, it is based solely on red version and blue version. And it has... I always felt bad about killing Marowak. Um, it has the health bars, and it actually, like, red and blue. Like, red starts off with the Charmander, and blue starts off with the Squirtle. And it is really cool. You just have to watch it. And he goes, you know, he battles all the gyms, and he... He battles all the gyms, he battles the Elite Four, and it shows their Pokemon, and he gets to the end, like, he battles Giovanni and stuff, and he gets to the end and he battles, he battles Blue. Just like in the game. It is so cool. Go and watch it. Ah, shit. So I knew they were here, but I thought there were more rockets up here, too. Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we're setting him straight. So render yourself invisible or prepare to fight. Yep, that's right. But so... So far, these guys have been pushovers. Just like the TV show, I should have. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm sick. I'm gonna call. So... There's Meowth. Critical hit. Thank Christ for that. Thank the Lord. 
Ah, oh, see now they've got Arbok and Weezing, which is wicked. So I was wondering when they get Arbok and Weezing. This is cool. No match for Warthog. Oh! Why don't you use it, Rap? You could have stopped me from attacking, you fool. That's what I loved about the AI, they're stupid. And you can get away with shit that you normally wouldn't be able to get away with if it was a normal player. Hey, guess what? Generation 1, no levitate. Bye bye. Oh, snap. You showed me. Doesn't matter. Finish you off the second shot. I feel like I'm on an actually pretty high level. Oh yeah. Level 33, bitches. You will regret this. I regret the day that I laid eyes on you. Oh, snap. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Hey, Mr. Fuji. Hehe, <laughs> you came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for kind concern. Oh, for your kind concern. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay. That's simple enough. You happy? You happy, but you should be scared. Mr. Fuji, Ash. Your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think it's, this may help your quest. Alright, so you get the Poke Flute from this guy. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, Alright, so I have Repel's effect. Yep, cool. So, um. You know what? What do you say? What, Greek Gorilla? What do you s what, what, what? Well, seeing as how I'm gonna train Pidgeotto, Nita King, and Nita Queen after this video, I will. I will, um. go. Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is. Quickly, I'm gonna quickly run down there. I'm gonna head, I'm gonna start making my way to Fuchsia City. And I'm gonna probably, I think I run into Snorlax before I run into any trainers. So if that's the case, I'm gonna try and attempt to catch Snorlax in this, this episode. Do you have anything for me? You can have this, I don't need it anymore. I don't have any room for anything. It's like... Toss. I'll toss them both. Yeah, get rid of them. Give me... S it's a TM, I think. I think this is Swift. And I'll teach Swift. Quick. Quick. Yeah, Swift. Who can learn Swift? Charmeleon. Pikachu. Ah... Uh, that's funny. Uh, we'll teach it to Charmeleon, but Charmeleon, we'll delete it from Charmeleon anyway. I'm purely doing this. Yeah, get rid of Lee, eh? So he knows Swift, but and as soon as he evolves to Charizard, he'll be learning Flamethrower and stuff, so I'll be deleting that. That's just temporary. Um. Well... You know what? I should have ended the video, but I'm gonna keep going because I wanna get Char I wanna get Charizard, Ivysaur, and Blastoise. And I also wanna catch Snorlax. So you guys can stop watching if you want now. Because all I'm gonna be doing is training and I'm gonna evolve them on camera so you can see. If you want to, you don't have to watch the rest though. So for those of you that are leaving, goodbye. But for those of you that are staying, we're gonna continue on and Ivysaur has one more level before it evolves. And Blastoise has another has one level as well, and Charizard has another two, I think. Chameleon, I mean. I always when I'm referring to like see, I'm talking about Ivysaur. I always refer to I say Venusaur instead of Ivysaur. Ivysaur has another level, not Venusaur. God, I'm an idiot. But I guess that's what makes my videos special because I'm an idiot. Yay. 
And look, it's okay to put yourself down sometimes, guys, but don't take it too seriously. I, I've been told I put myself down too much. You know, I'm, I'm good at stuff, and people say, you're good at stuff, and I say, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. So, I might have to listen to some people as advice, and I don't know what I'm going I'm, I'm See, look, I'm on a tangent again, I'm rambling on. The longer the videos go, the worse my rambling becomes. So that's why I was hoping it for it to be quick. But what time is it? It is 11 o'clock. Crap. That means I started about half an hour ago. I would assume. Super effective, not. Um, for something that's not very effective, it did a pretty good, pretty decent job. So, yeah. I think I figured it out. The type, see if I use a, a grass attack on him and he's a water poison, I think the poison, ta the poison type takes priority, so it won't be very effective. Whereas in current generation, if he's poison, water poison, and you use a grass type attack, it'll do normal damage because it's super effective against the water type, but not very effective against the poison type. Yes, okay, so we have a Venusaur now. Alright, welcome Venusaur. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at that. He looks so fat, but he is cute. Alright. So we have a Venusaur on our team. Now all we need is a Blastoise and a Charizard. So... See, it's on camera, guys. I promised you this. And the quicker I do this, the quicker I can go and train the other Pokemon that I need. Or I can tra level these ones up too. Yeah. Alrighty. The Fishing Fool versus the Pokemon Kid. Protege? I didn't see. I have a habit of pushing the buttons too fast. Sent out Goldeen. I feel like these trainers could have better Pokemon by now, but... They don't. I'll just dig my way out of this one. Too bad. So sad. So level 34 any second now? Nope, not yet. Anything down there? I always like the music in Pokemon. See, I talk about random stuff. The music in Pokemon is good, it was very catchy. Do, 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 do. Fisherman wants to fight. Fisherman sent that Poliwag. Poliwag, pol Poliwag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, Shelda. That's another thing about the TV show, they didn't explain it very... They, they didn't... In contrast to the games in the TV show, Shelda, in the game, evolves with a Water Stone, right? So, yeah. You, at any level, as long as you have a Water Stone, you can use it, and Shelda will evolve to Cloyster. In the TV show, what, um... Look, I think Cloyster... Uh, Clo Shelda evolved into Cloyster, you know, with a Water Stone as well, but... The thing with Shelda in the TV show, um, you know, Slowpoke. It was shown on the TV show that for, in order for Slowpoke to evolve into Slowbro, it would need Shelda to clamp onto the its tail for it to evolve to Slowbro, and that's what that big shell on the on its back is. On the, it's the tail. It's that's Cloyster. It's Shelda. God damn it! I can't talk. I, it's because I'm not well. That's what it is. But in the game, Slowbro. Uh, the first one, Slowpoke. Slowpoke evolves in the game by, I think it's leveling up. It might be a Water Stone. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's leveling up. It evolves, and you do not need a Shelter in your in your party. But, so it's it's very very weird how they've done it. All right, so now we're here. 
the air, as you can see. And my Pokemon are ready. You could say they're ready. That's what moves do you have? Okay. I can't even remember what moves they have. I need something. I was hoping to paralyze it or something, but it might not be the case. So we're going to save it. And I'm going to try and catch Snorlax. I'll catch one and I'll defeat the other one. Oh, wait. Do I have to actually go to my bag and get it? So I'll... I'll catch... I thought my phone was ringing. I'll catch... I'll catch this one. And I'll defeat the other one. So this is Snorlax. Level 30, I assume. Crap. Alright, War Turtle. It was nice knowing you. So... you resting. Ow. Ow. I said ow. Amnesia. Ah, shit. No! No, 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 don't flinch! <coughs> pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me. Fl flinch, 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 flinch. Not me. Ah. Bloody hell. Flinch, flinch, flinch. It shouldn't kill you. Yes, flinch. Alright. Now this is a long shot. And unlikely to work. I use the great ball. You'll break free straight away, won't you? Yep, there we go. No, Wotoro. I love you, Wotoro. Ah, I don't want my Wotoro to faint. I do not want my Wotoro to faint, so my Nita Queen has to take over. No! Oh well. Damn, and that's like, that's like 200 HP there or something. That's... Oh, I forgot about these moves. Yep, come on again. Okay, and again. Quickly before it wakes up so I can catch it while it's sleeping, which gives me a boost. Come on. No, you're not supposed to wake up. I want to snow like my t- Ah, uh, critical- Gee, thanks. Well, well, shit. Well, that's gay. Um, well, awkward. Okay, so, turns out I am not going to catch a Snorlax this episode. I will catch it, I will catch it in the next episode. I will use Dig. I won't use Dig, because it's not the time to use this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll save it here. I'm going to save it here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video here, but I'm going to backtrack and go and heal my Pokemon and and come back here. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It wasn't very eventful. The major event was beating Gary, Jesse James, and getting Venusaur. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and of course, like always, I will see you when the frame leg stops finish is finished. No. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.